Thank God have mercy on my soul. Yeah. Oh. And thank you for finishing updating phone. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Elliot. Welcome to hell. <laughs> no, not really. Welcome to Honey Pop. The, we're doing the original. Um, I feel like I'm staring at hell whenever I look at this because of... Um, This character right here, I I can't say anything, but I'm not. I'm literally staring at hell, <laughs> but um, anyway, so, there's a blanket on the floor, don't ask why, um, <clears throat> so yeah, here it is, honey pop, I'm fucking doing this game, why, I don't know, but, but anyway, the original Honey Pop came out on January 19th, 2015 from Gatu Steam. Only for PC because, uh... This is an adults-only game. And for the Steam version of this game, this is actually censored. So... For pretty stupid reasons, I don't know why. The original Honey Pop was censored on Steam, but Honey Pop 2 is, not, is uncensored. But yet, they reject Hush Hush. Why? They're too fucking stupid, that's why. I have... I have played this game a lot, and people say out of all the Honey Pop games, like Honey Pop 1, Honey Game Studio, Honey Pop 2, everyone says this is the best one. Like, out of every single, like, game Honey Pop has made, like, this one, Honey Cam Studios, uh, the Spiral Scouts, which I have yet to play uh, in the Honeypop 2 Double Day. This is the one that everyone loves and has over like almost over 24,000 views on Steam. Views on Steam. It's like, can we just get like Honeypop 2 up there or does it take a while? Because I don't know how many reviews this game had when I bought it. So. So, uh, yeah. Let's f fucking play Honey Pop. Ugh, Jesus. <sighs> Hi there. Oh. Uh. Um, hello. Is anybody home? No. I'm sorry, I just don't talk to me, girls. That's a bunch of shit. Well, you're talking to a now champ. <laughs> My name is Kiyu. Nice to meet you. It's not like I have played this game many times and know the dialogue. <laughs> Key, or at least remember most of it. Um, I literally can't remember my name right now. Right. We'll try that again later. Look, dude, are you gonna be all right? Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. That's true. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm fine. What do I mean? I mean, I can literally see you sweating through your shirt. So this wonderful Mario shirt? Oh yeah, this is... <laughs> I I'm not gonna say it, but uh, yeah. Well, it's just that you're so pretty and stuff, why? She, yeah, sorry, I should just go. Like, I should close this fucking game. Oh, God, did you just say that? Oh, just... Is this happening? God oh, damn it. <laughs> why am I a dumbass? Hey, you, rise and shine, we've got work to do. 
I should. I said get up. I am up. Am I gonna have to pull the covers off? No, no, please. I just get here and phone. Please send. <laughs> st please send help. Chill out for a second. You'll be glad I showed up. Don't you recognize this adorable face? <laughs> it's Kiyu from the bar. Yeah, but yeah, brown hair. Also, not rings. Uh... <clears throat> I'm so confused right now. What's going on? <sighs> Why are they always confused? If you can't tell by now, I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy to be exact. <laughs> Question, what exactly is a love fairy? Good question. I'm glad you asked. You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor saps like you out with the ladies. It's just mm, what I do. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are basically walking babe magnets now. You, though. <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. Kind of crushes my reality. It does. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm doing just fine on my own. <laughs> no, but seriously. We need to get started right away. Tell me, how many dates have you been on? Um. Why am I actually thinking about this? Um. It's so fucking cold in here. <laughs> uh, define date, like dates with actual physical girls. What, do you have body pillows? Or do I have body pillows? I mean, you know, and I'm out. <clears throat> oh my god, it's worse than I thought, isn't it? Alright, grab your shit, we're going on a date right now. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know a place nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. All right, I'll try to make this quick. This is the date grid. These little pieces are called tokens. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. Write For this a down on date, your test. You have to fill the affection Here, meter before uh, you run out of moves. And, uh, you need your number Go two ahead, pencil. give it a shot. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. See? Easy! Each of the four types of affection tokens represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance, blue is talent, green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Again, right this Pay attention to test. which trait your date prefers. It'll go a long way. Of course, matching four or five tokens will get you even more affection. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens in the bottom right of the grid, the red ones. Sweet. Okay, what's next? Oh, right! Let me cover the other token types real quick. The pink hearts are passion tokens. Matching those will raise your date's passion level. The higher her passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful. The broken heart tokens are bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. <laughs> Finally, the teardrops are sentiment I am tokens. An asshole. Matching those gives you... Well, sentiment. You need sentiment in order to use date gifts. And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Here, I'll hook you up with one of mine. It's on the house. Like I said, you'll need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column, the teardrops. Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. 
We're cool, kind of, huh? We are nervous, There are like so. a ton of different date gifts Move that you on. can get. <sighs> the actual oh shit! Again. It's morning already. We are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you, and this is important. Introducing the latest in love fairy technology, the Honey Bee 4.0. The Honeybee is an essential lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. You can organize your inventory, buy new gifts, upgrade your traits. It's awesome! We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're a big boy. You can figure it out. To access the Honeybee, all you have to do is right-click at pretty much any time. Or if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. <laughs> go ahead! Break that bad boy open. How dare you call me weird? I, oh, fuck. Fuck. Click out the window. Okay, so. Messages. No. Girls. Basically, the stalker phone. As we all know it. Wait, can we buy items on the fly? Like, right now? Never knew that. Of course, we can't do upgrades yet. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> We're doing this hard, baby. <laughs> okay, background music. That, that. Voiceover, full volume, of course. We're seeing as a fucking male. No offense to females. And uh, I forgot what these do. I don't know what Dirty Magazine does. Gonna have to look up guys again. Why do I need a guide for this game? I don't know. Okay, great! I think that's it for now. Let's get out there and talk to some broads. Or we could just chill here and play some Halo. I mean... I have Halo 1 and 2 right over there, so why not? I said, let's go talk to some broads! Or... Possibly maybe play Mario Galaxy. But literally, like, one of the best games I've ever played. Duh. I'm not ready. Or he's showing I radiance. said, let's go talk to some broads. How about uh, uh, Sonic Generations? I said, let's go talk to some broads. This is what I'm going to be doing because I'm fuck. fuck That's this. what I like to hear. Now, if you want to meet a hot chick. You gotta go where the hot chicks are. I've done some scouting and I have a few ideas of where to start. It depends what type of girls you're into. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? Here. Sitting a uh, fuck it. Donwood Park Fitness Club, University Campus. Your whore feelings. Oh. <laughs> Turn around and walk away. I'm alright. It's so fucking cold in here. <laughs> Fitness club. I need a membership, so. <laughs> Donald Park, cool. Oh, fuck. I don't want to do it. I sincerely don't want to do it. <sighs> Fuck me. Good choice, rookie. Couldn't have picked it better myself. All right, ready? Get your game face on. Skank, 
No, bitch! My hair isn't dried out and reeking of smoke, okay? Whatever, ho. Why don't you go get knocked up again? You need to turn around and walk away. What's wrong? Did I hurt your whore feelings? Turn around and walk away. Gladly. At least I won't have to look at your whore face anymore. Fucking whore ass bitch needs to learn. I ain't gonna lie, I beat the goofy out of that woman. Ooh, she's a little feisty one, huh? Oh yeah, don't worry. They can't see or hear me. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Plot twist! <laughs> nah, I'm crazy real. I just hid myself from everyone so I can give you advice on the sidelines. <laughs> this is what we refer to as a mega bitch. Confidence is key here. She has to know you're in you charge and her I'm bullshit isn't enough? going to phase you. So whatever you do, uh, just stay cool. So much. Uh, could you move, please? You're kind of in my way. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this so much. I hate this so much. Why? 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 I hate this. God, please, when I stop recording this, strike me down. I hate who's in front of my face right now. Okay, whatever. That was so lame. What are you even doing at the mall anyway? Besides creeping on girls. Mm. <laughs> at least you're honest. Well, you're going to have to do a lot better than that. Sorry, but you did put in effort, I guess. And you are kind of cute. I'll tell you what, if you're lucky, maybe we can go get high sometime. You down? Maybe I'll drink some... Jesus Christ, I hate this. Well, that's true. That works for me. Name's Audrey. Get at me if you want to make things crazy. Now, if you don't mind, could you get the fuck out of my way? No way! You did it! Well, with my help, of course. I gotta admit, I did not expect you to pull that off. Beginner's luck. Don't let it go to your head. By the way, that other chick that was here just a second ago? Since she was in range, the honeybee started tracking her location too. So after you're done here with this girl, you can go catch up with her too. Just bust out the honeybee and check out the girl finder screen. I'm pumped. You pumped? Yeah, you're pumped. Go get him. I'll be around if you need me. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you need me. Okay, we have met the Karen of all of Honey Bob. <sighs> Gonna hate this, but hey, we have many more episodes of this. Please kill me. Please. Thank you everyone for watching. It's... Ugh, I'm gonna hate doing... I'm gonna hate doing this. But anyways, please like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. If you're an existing subscriber, please do share this video with the masses. If this gets many views, I'm of course gonna continue this. And even continue Hush Hush because it's way better than this by looking at this... Karen's face. So, thank you all for watching and goodbye!